the number one question is always asked, how can I knock someone out? <laughs> Knocking someone out doesn't come from just like throwing a punch really hard. It's connecting your whole body together. And this next exercise I put together is just for that. Knocking out someone is timing. It's timing your feet to the ground, delivering that point that needs to the ground, turning those hips, generating power, generating power all through your core before we even throw a punch. All your, your power is actually coming from the ground, right? And everyone always thinks it's like your right hand, you're throwing the right hand at them. No, it's all coming from your feet in the ground, turning your hips, generating all that force through your body before you throw that right hand. And this will make you better at that timing as well as strengthen and add endurance to each one of your punches, okay? So, to develop coordination all the way through your body, we're gonna be angling our body towards that wall. Find a wall that's pretty solid. This is a concrete wall. Um, you don't wanna throw a medicine ball or whatever you're throwing through the wall, right? So find a, a, a stable wall, elbow high. We're gonna go elbow high as we hold this ball. Now I really wanna generate force into this throw, but I'm not gonna do it just from standing still. Okay, I'm going to move my feet. I do like a karaoke step behind to really load my hips. Look what it's doing to my hips, it's turning my hips this direction. Now as I step back toward, towards the wall, look, I'm stepping in, I'm opening my hips and generating all this power through that throw. All right, and that's really what you want. When you want that perfect punch, everything flows together, okay? So, elbow high, feet shoulder width apart, that karaoke step behind, closing those hips off. I'm gonna step forward. As I step, I'm turning my hips, throwing the ball in the wall. Make sure you follow all the way through as you throw, okay? So it's nice and light. Get used to it, throw it light, figure it out. Then you can step behind here. And then you start speeding up your step, too. All your body should flow together. The slower your feet go, the slower you load up, the slower you're gonna throw it. Eventually, you get good at it, you get your rhythm going. That's the power button. All right, make sure you're doing both sides. Gotta be coordinated both ways. So again, step in behind, loading that foot. Look at my hips, fully closed, ready to be open. Right? So again, up with high, step behind. That'll be the First exercise, I like to progress into things, right? Be more and more coordinated. Maybe you want to be an MMA fighter. Maybe you want to turn this into a harder workout. I mean, how hard are burpees? You can go do burpees in your garage and get in shape if you'd like to. This is kind of something like that, right? Explosive with my hips. I'm working out my anaerobic capacity by pushing at a certain time. So do this for a minute straight. Going left, right, left, right. Throwing both stances, standing both stances, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do my orthodox stance. I'm going to want to sprawl my left leg first. I'm going to sprawl my hip bone on top of that ball. I really want someone to come underneath me. I'm going to drop my hip, which extends this back leg. This one's bent, okay? Now, I always like to circle towards my bent leg. Uh, the technique for wrestling and, what you, and covering the head, that's what you should be doing. So I circle towards my bent leg. As I circle, I'm going to come up with my southpaw stance, pick up the ball, and throw it right away. There's no step in this one, okay? I'm southpaw. Scroll my hip, circling up opposite way, take up the ball, and throw it, right? Once you get it down, it should be fluent in my stance. Right. Time it, right? After a minute straight, you will get tired. You can put as much as you want into your throw. Time the sprawl. Getting athletic, you're getting your timing down. And I'm already winning, and that was very little. Don't be out of shape like me. All right, the next progression to that exercise of punching power is going to be my rotational, right? Everything's rotational. And now I'm going to add the eccentric part. As well as I'm contracting, we're also going to do an eccentric contraction with this, right? That's why I'm adding weight. It's a long lever. Look how long the bar is. That's what's going to add a lot of, a lot of pressure to each time I move. I move. If I'm nice and tight on something, 
it's not very hard to do. But if you're long, holding it long, that's where it's gonna generate power from your core. And that's what we're doing here. So I'm gonna rotate from side to side of my body. Think about every time I'm coming back down, that's eccentrically contracting my core, my leg, everything as I'm coming down. Right, then I have to explode back out onto the other side, but then slow it down as I come back, okay? So it should look a little bit something like this. All right, again, arms fully extended. Now as I rotate to my right, I'm dropping down towards my knee, I've been in my legs a little bit here, right? Now my, my foot is turned, I'm gonna explode out of this, keep my arms straight. Biggest mistakes can be like, listen to here, nice and close. That's not very hard. I want this to be hard, right? And that's how you're gonna generate more power. Here, you're gonna lift straight up with your arms straight, right? And slow it down on this way, and explode out. <laughs> Right, give me about 10 to 12 a side. You know, so 20, 24. Really burn the muscles. Your legs are gonna get tired. You're exploding out each punch. Um, that'll definitely add some power to your rotation, which will add more power to your punch. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you push the subscribe button below, turn on all notifications, and be sure to check out all free content on tgdillashaw.com.